in June of this year, Pornhub announced that they were introducing a closed captioning service for some of their top videos. This includes content in the gay, straight, women-focused and transsexual categories. This service joins other initiatives that have previously been made by Pornhub, including audio description of videos, an optimised platform for visually impaired users, which includes larger images and text and higher contrast, Old School, which is an educational initiative aimed at seniors, and various scholarships, including ones for students and women. So I checked a few of these videos out and was pleasantly surprised by what I found. Most of the videos that were either audio description or closed caption were hitting 1 to 3 million views. So it is evident that Pornhub is hitting a niche here that hasn't been hit previously. Prior to this, most porn content online that was subtitled was uploaded by users. So essentially they downloaded the content, subtitled it themselves and then uploaded it to various platforms. When it came to the audio description, I was really impressed. So not only was it informative, but it sounded like it came directly out of a Mills and Boone novel. It was very erotic and well done. Instead of using dry language, they used words like cock and pussy and it contributed to the scene as a whole. The subtitles were also very well done, not only identifying what was being said, but who was speaking and atmospheric sounds that contributed to the scene. So porn has always been at the forefront when it comes to technology. They were a big contributor to DVDs becoming as popular as they did. Uh, same with online streaming and more recently VR technology and the implementation of subtitles and audio description of videos as a default is going along the same lines. Where the internet has helped previous social movements like fat acceptance, gender equality and racial prejudices, disability education is still coming forward and conversations around sexual pleasure of those that are disabled is remaining shockingly silent. So while it might seem to be for publicity, Pornhub is enabling disabled viewers the same access to porn that able-bodied viewers have had since the inception of the internet. Sexuality, while it may not be verbally said, has always been reserved for those that are conventionally attractive. Fat bodies, ugly bodies, disabled bodies don't fit within that mould and are therefore not seen to have the same right to relationships and sex as everyone else and Pornhub is bridging this divide. People treat those with a disability as innocent a lot of the time. The idea that someone can be a sexual being and also disabled is somewhat of a taboo, but Pornhub is communicating that that isn't always the case. It is estimated that up to 50% of disabled adults are not in sexual relationships, um, and many of those people want to be or still have the same desires that anyone else does. So another streaming platform, albeit not porn, that struggles with this understanding is Netflix. So in 2012, there was a legal case in which Netflix was ordered to provide captioning services for their videos. Prior to that, it wasn't a requirement and they didn't necessarily do it very often. Since then, all of their videos as a default are closed captioned or subtitled. But there's been a bit of issue recently with some of those subtitles. In National Association of the Deaf versus Netflix, a US district court in Massachusetts ruled that the statute should be read to include the internet as a place of public accommodation. In that 2012 case, the NAD argued that Netflix denied deaf subscribers equal enjoyment and access to its site by limiting closed captioning to a few movie selections. So Netflix now offers closed captioning on all its videos, but there's some instances recently where people haven't been too happy with them. The show Queer Eye recently caught the attention of the internet. The captioning within this show was changed slightly. Um, so it wasn't word for word verbatim what was said on the show. So one instance on the show is when one of the hosts uses the gay slang, that's where you can get yourself in a world of hurt. In the captions, it's changed to that's where you can hurt yourself, completely changing the intended meaning for a deaf audience. Profanities have also been edited. So fuck and shit got changed to crap and darn. So a lot of Twitter users tweeted at one of the hosts um, who vowed to make a change. Um, and Netflix has responded to that, but as of the filming of this video, it doesn't look like it has actually been changed. By treating disabled people differently online and not giving them the full access to the things that anyone else will have, we're fundamentally changing their experiences. We are assuming that because someone is disabled, they don't have the same wants and needs to the content that we are able to access. By small changes like adding subtitles, like not changing subtitles, we're opening up this platform for everyone.
The internet has also opened up dating to all people regardless of ability. So where traditional dating sites have always been aimed at able-bodied people, uh, plenty of Bishop OK Cupid now have options specifically for people with disabilities, uh, including high contrast and that sort of thing. And there's also disability-specific websites uh, focused on the deaf community, the blind community, uh, the autistic community, etc. So the internet is enabling people to now find and sustain long-lasting relationships where they wouldn't have been able to previously. Accessibility needs to not just be the things we see as moral and nice, there needs to be equality in the taboo.